What is it this time? Conquer the world? Destroy the universe? Free ice cream? Well, I must say, this is not the kind of weather that I had in mind when Jenny suggested a short holiday. Good day to you. Such a relief to find someone else here. I'm afraid I got stranded here after a failed experiment with a device that the doctor refers to as a vortex manipulator. To make matters worse, I seem to have stumbled upon an ancient ice tomb belonging to the Cybermen. Of course, they're still snoozing away for now, but I was alarmed by the sighting of a number of Cybermats making a nuisance of themselves. If you can help me get the little pests under control, then we won't have to deal with their rudely awoken masters. The truth, my protective skills are never This shouldn't require anything more than a little I hope you're up to it, my dear. All of these little pests must be stopped before the Cybermen become fully active. We can really do with speeding the process along, my dear. I don't wish to alarm you, but our cyber friend will soon be very Those Cybermen will be tucked away asleep in their ice tombs for quite some time yet. You would be very welcome to join my little household with Jenny and Strax. The Paternoster Gang's door will always be open to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be getting back home. I tried to think what Strax has been up to in my absence. Well, I must say, this is not the kind of weather that I had in mind. I can proceed. Cyberman active.
Is it just me or do people around here look extra shiny today? And I don't think it's a moisturizer thing. Hey, fancy doing a little Torchwood mission for me? We got word that the Nestine Consciousness has taken over a plastics factory not far from here. Long story short, the Nestines like playing with their human-sized action figures a little too much. And they brought a bunch of shop window mannequins to life to cause mayhem in the streets. Help me take these dummies down, will ya? Clone myself and take me out to dinner. All of them. And if I may say so, you were looking pretty good out there. If you fancy catching up later on, you know where to find me. face of Bo, right? Big head, serious face, lives in a jar? Well, I heard that his birthday's coming up, and apparently the big guy's turning like a million billion this year. And you can't let a landmark like that go without a bang. So I figured I'd put on a little musical number for him, which we're supposed to be practicing now. But all my backing dancers have gone AWOL. Hey, could you be a pal and go round up those lazy oods?
You know, way back when I was a poster boy, they actually used to call me the face of Bo. Weird coincidence, huh? Maybe he was a poster boy too. All right, this is everyone. We can finally rehearse. Seriously, you guys, the face of Bo isn't getting any younger here. You all ready? Oh, before we get started, take this for your help. TARDIS for this sort of thing. Loser. Suppose you want to share it with my crime fighting glory, huh? <laughs> This will be of use. <laughs> 